our first job is to dissemble the IBCs because we need that to make good cuts and to do it nice and neatly. We need to separate the cage from the base and get the tank out so we can cut it up. To measure accurately in, we want to do a cut and make this, this is going to be a grow bed, this part, and this part we're going to turn into a sump. Now we want this part to be 350 millimetres deep, and this will be 375 millimetres deep. Now I want to show you a technique of measuring from the bottom accurately. This is why we have our big square. So we can push that along the bottom, you see, we're going to determine where our bottom point actually is. See that? So we're going to measure from the inside of the square. Otherwise, how do you know where to start measuring from? Here or here or here? Because you've got quite a rounded edge. So that's the technique we use to determine where the end is. There we go. And we just need to line up our mark and make the entry. You'll find this plastic cuts really easily once you get started. So you need to exercise a bit of care to try and get as straight a line as you can because you'll find the saw wants to wander a little bit. When you get to the last little bit here, it can be quite difficult because the plastic starts to jump around a little bit. So just go a little bit slower with the saw. There we go, we have separation. Now we're going to cut this one. Now this one will need a bit of, this is where you need some assistance because you'll see when I start to cut in a minute, because we've made a cut, the system has become quite sloppy and floppy. So it's a bit hard to hold it and make it work. So it's a two man job from here for this part. So let's start. Okay, this is the finished product. We've now cut up one IBC. We've taken the bit out the middle, it's become trash. This one's the sump. We find this one's the best one to use the sump. The one that's actually the base of the IBC to start with. It's got the tap fitted to it already, and that's really handy you'll find for the sump sometimes. You may actually want to drain the sump. So you've already got a drain already built in. How about that? Fantastic. And this one here we will use for the for one of the grow beds. It has the, the lid in it. Some people I have seen do a similar system to this have put their uh, auto siphon in the lid, but we don't like to do that. We like to put it in a corner and we'll show you exactly why we do that later on. But anyway, this one is going to be a grow bed and this one is going to be a sump. We're going to cut the next IBC and make it into two grow beds and then we'll cut up the cages and we'll show you what we do with that. The cages are very important to keep and to use because they provide support and they stop the thing from buckling and bending. Mm -hmm.